Are you ready to discover the ultimate trick that will not only give you a fantastic green lawn, it will also save you a ton of money? Well, you're in the right place, let's go. What about you? This one trick can help you create a lush green lawn while keeping more green in your wallet. Before we do anything, let's get the grass cut. Happy days, that's the lawn all cut. Now I'm going to talk through some of the issues I'm currently having with the lawn before we get further into the video. For the most part, the lawn looks quite well. You can see down here, we're probably not getting enough water just down into this corner. If it doesn't repair itself, then I might put on a wet agent, but I'm not a big massive fan of putting wet agents on lawns unless you've got hydrophobic soil. I'm fortunate the belly here doesn't create dog stains in the lawn. But unfortunately, we have other dogs that come and uh, create these marks taken away from the lawn. The local farmer has decided to start collecting silage today. Can't blame him. It's a really good day. For that reason, I'm going to go into the workshop and we'll have a chat about the fertilizer. Welcome into the workshop. Before we start, we better get the lights turned on. Now, I'm just going to say, folks, these tips are intended for responsible adults. You are applying, what I'm going to teach you is how to apply professional products. I'm going to teach you how to apply professional products to your lawn. Something I picked up on the way down to make this video from a local garden centre was this product here. Cost £12. Now there's 100% nothing wrong with using a product such as this on your lawn. What I would say is this is beginner fertiliser. Whenever you move on the liquid fertilizers and if you know how to apply them properly and you know how to work out the numbers that's what we're going to go through today then you can save yourself a ton of money because you can buy a big jar 10 liters for 40 to 50 to 60 pounds but it does come with some downsides and i'm going to talk you through those now before we get into the downsides folks don't forget if you're enjoying the video make sure to smash the like button I'm just going to talk through some of the downsides here to using the liquid feed obviously compared to a granular you're going to be applying it more often you put it on and you're cutting it off and you're going to be applying a liquid feed a lot more than most granular feeds so that is one of the biggest downsides putting on too much product it's it can be easier or it can be easy to burn your lawn with a liquid feed especially in hot weather at the minute here in the uk we're under a heat wave it's actually quite warm in the workshop here at the minute so if you're going to be applying fertilizer in a heat wave, either let the heat wave pass, or if you do need to put it on, water it well in. After I put this on today in the evening, I'm going to have the sprinkler on the lawn for a good length of time to get it watered in because I don't want to burn the lawn. Waterways, if you have any waterways near you and you're applying any products, especially liquid products, always be mindful and responsible about contaminating waterways with any fertilizer. Too much fertilizer can lead to the likes of algae and a build up in the rivers and cause all sorts of pollution. So always be in mind if you have a waterway near your lawn, over the plant fertilizers, even if you over apply fertilizers and that doesn't get taken up by the lawn, a lot of that fertilizer can find its way into waterways even if you don't have one near you. So just bear in mind what you're using. As it happened, it, it was too warm this afternoon to do the spread, so I've had to hold off. Now the guys are still out in the fields doing the silage, so hopefully there'll not be too much noise from it. But you can see there's a lot of shade starting to come onto the lawn, and it's getting a lot cooler now. So we're going to I'm going to show you how to do the calculations. We're going to spray the lawn, and then we'll get the sprinkler out. Let's do it. To make this really easy for you, now you you can take this trick and you can apply it to any liquid fertilizer you see to work out how much fertilizer you need to put on your own lawn. This is actually dead easy whenever you get the hang of it. So if we look at our 
our fertilizer packet here. We've got 18010 plus seaweed and humates. These last two are trace elements. There'll not be a lot of these in here. The main bulk of this fertilizer is 18010. Whenever we go across and we we'll have a look at our application rate, we've got an application rate of 20 to 60 litres per hectare and a minimum of 300 to 600 litres of water. I have a really easy calculation here that breaks it all down for you. So a hectare is 10,000 square metres. It's your application rate times the size of your lawn divided by 10,000. To break this down and tell you the numbers that I'm going to use on my own lawn. So my own lawn measures 180 square metres. So we're going to take our 40 litres per hectare and there's our 180, that's the size of my lawn and we're going to divide it by the hectare size which is 10,000 square metres and that gives us 720 mil or 0.720 of a litre. Now the next job is to work out how much water we need because we have our 300 to 600 litres per water so we want to go an average in between that which is about 450 litres of water into the sprayer to work out how much water we need in the, to, to apply this product on. To show you how we're going to work out the water rate, it's dead easy. We're going to use the same principle as we use to work out the fertiliser. We have 300 to 600 litres of water per hectare. We have this nice little sheet here to show you. So we've got our 400, we're going to go at 450 litres per hectare times the size of my lawn, so my lawn measures 180 square metres, divided by 10,000. So it equals 8.1 litres. By the time I put my 8.1 litres in the tank with my water and then my product, the, I'm going to have to put about 9 litres into the sprayer and spray it, spray it on. And you just want to keep going over the lawn in a nice even pattern until you empty out the sprayer. Dead easy. Now, let's get going and we'll get it on the lawn. So we're going to take our 720 mil, which is one and a half of these. For my Northern Irish or my Irish viewers, I'm going to give you a little treat. A lot of people are always asking me where they can buy products like this, because in Northern Ireland, we get stuck with postage all the time whenever we're buying products in. So I'm going to leave a link down in the video description where you can pick products like this up. Not a paid for link in any way. So I've got two jobs left. The heat of the sun has really died down. We're at seven o'clock in the evening now. I'm going to spray the lawn and then my other job is I'm going to set the sprinkler to come on about six o'clock in the morning to make sure that the lawn gets well watered and the product gets watered in before the heat of the day starts tomorrow and then I know that it's not going to burn the lawn. If you're spraying your lawn and you find that you have more product if your knapsack's still full of fertilizer, or still some left after you've finished your lawn, just keep going over it on an even manner until you empty out your fertilizer spreader dead easy. If you've enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that here to follow along to learn more from your lawn this year.